Hello my friends, Miss Art Garden here, and today I'm gonna go through making emojis. I'm going to use Photoshop, and I'm gonna take advantage of manipulating paths so you can make one face and then duplicate those paths and just alter it a little bit, and then duplicate it again and alter it another way so that you can get very similar looking line art. And it's just kind of a fast way, fast track, shortcut way. I'm doing this for my Discord server that I'm co-running with Nick E-man, although I say co-running, but they've done most of the work. I'll go through a couple of these, but we'll get the basics down. And before I forget, I want to say that if you want to join our Discord, invite link will be in the description below. I have to design the emoji first of all, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I think I'll go with something like that. First, we're going to want to lay out paths over this. So to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna take my opacity, turn it down to maybe 27. I'm gonna make sure I have my path window open. So if it's not showing, go to window paths right here and it'll pop right up here. And if you are completely unfamiliar with the path tool, I have a video <laughs> that goes through it in depth or you can look at little tutorials online and stuff. I'll explain everything I'm doing, but it's a little bit complex and I'm gonna just go through it somewhat fast. <laughs> So if you get lost, uh, you might have to look into learning it a little bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do, I made sure I'm on the pen tool and I have this one selected. I have it on path and I have it on combine shapes and I have auto add delete on. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay over all of the lines I've already done. So I'm adding, I guess this is an anchor point. <laughs> I don't actually know the names. Up here, one down here, one I guess in the middle of the hairline here, one down here. This one will end here and you're probably like, what? <laughs> If you hold the pen over the line, one of the lines here, the path, you see that little plus sign? I actually want to add an anchor point in the middle here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you see it adds these little dragging mark stabilizer things. I don't know what they're actually called. I'm going to hold down command, which is a Mac thing. If you're using Windows, it might be control. Um, basically, you want this little white arrow to show up. <laughs> so you might have to press a couple buttons till you see that. And then I'm going to click on this this new anchor point while holding down the key, command key, and drag it out there. I'll add another one here, click, drag it up, add another one here, click, drag it down, add another one here, click, <laughs> drag, and uh, like here I want this to line up so I'm going to hold down the command key and drag this little stabilizer thing up that way. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have this hair outline. I'm going to move this over here and then I'm going to hold down the option key, which might be the alt <laughs> key in Windows. Like I said, uh, you'll get this little um, character looking thing when you hold it over the anchor point you've added and I'm just gonna drag holding down the command key I'm just gonna kind of manipulate these and drag them down until they get a little bit more separate I just didn't want that to look quite like that now I've clicked off of it by holding command and clicking off of it if you want to click back on your line segment just uh, hold down that command and click on it again keep adding your anchor points and keep adjusting your lines until you're happy with how they look I'm going to do this line next add an anchor point here add one down here and add one where it'll end a little bit there and then I'll just adjust adjust that line there real quick and easy. Add one down here, up, down, up, down, and I guess I'll end it there. And then I'll just adjust these. Now, before we go any further, what I want to do, <laughs> I meant to do it the first little box we made. I want to make sure I save my path. So you see how it says work path here? If you click off your path and you start another one, you can see you lose your path. <laughs> so you want to make sure you save these paths before you do that, because I've done that. <laughs> it is a pain. There's no getting it back. So make sure you save your paths, okay? So let's just finish up the Hair. And then to do the circle, in case we have some emojis where like the hair is flying up, I want um, a saved circle. It'll also help me position all future emojis. So I'm going to go to the ellipse tool. It's this one here and then ellipse tool here. And I'm going to hold down shift as I drag a circle. Um, this might be different in the newer version of Photoshop. Um, I think you might not have to drag down, hold down shift. So if that's different, I apologize. I haven't updated my Photoshop yet. I'm always terrified it'll be buggy. I'm just going to try to make that line up with the circle thing I already had by adjusting these. I'm holding down the shift key as I click and drag those around. Okay, so we have it here. I'm actually going to make sure it's just clicked. Hit command C, which will copy it. Click off of it. When you're on the pin tool, if you hit enter or return, it will kind of like deselect it, put it in, it'll put it away. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit command V and paste that circle so we have a duplicate of it. But uh, there's a weird glitch if you hit command V it does this weird vector math thing uh, if you don't have like a little extra anchor point. I don't know <laughs> why that does that. Maybe it won't do it for you but that's how it does for me. So I just have that and then I can just 
hold down the command, select that and delete it. So I'm gonna save this as extra circle because um, I think it's good to have. So then I'll go back to this and I'll show you how to delete this here. So I don't want it obviously to go around where the hair is. So right at the hairline, I'm going to add that anchor point, maybe just drag that a little bit down. And at this hairline too, I'm gonna make sure there's an anchor point there. And then I'm going to hold down command and select this, hold down the shift and command, select these two. And then I just hit the delete key without holding down anything and it'll get rid of that. And so we'll have that and we can check that that's not overlapping if we hide that. It looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this. So here's what I decided I'll go with. We essentially now have our first emoji, which I guess is like neutral or just slightly smiling. The next thing I wanna do, I essentially want to now duplicate this, but change the facial features. So instead of having to redraw the hair or anything, we can just right click and duplicate path. And uh, we'll call this new path, we'll call it grinning. And this first one we can call it um, slightly smiling. So for the grinning one, we basically just wanna give her a more open mouth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move these up like this a little bit and this down a little bit. Go to the corners here and here and then drag this down and uh, shape it up a little bit and then shape it a little bit more like a grin. Uh, we can move this up to match there. And I want this to have uh, a little bit more of a a taper I guess <laughs> upwards like that maybe makes it a little bit bigger and we're just gonna go ahead and give her some teeth here that line will essentially be the teeth and I actually don't think I'm crazy about that shape so I want to select all of these and I'm just hitting command option shift to select and deselect a whole path there I'm gonna hit Command T or perhaps Control T to transform and I'm just gonna make this a little bit wider I think it could be I think you're supposed to be very over-exaggerated with these faces. So there's smiling face number one. And I'll show you at the end what they all look like colored. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna close the teeth off. I like this look a little better. I know that's not how it is in the emoji. Okay, so next you can see this one has the same open mouth but with closed eyes. So we are going to duplicate that grinning path and that one is called grinning face with smiling eyes. So I'll just say, Grinning, smiling eyes. That'll be good enough. And we're gonna alter the eyes on this one. See when it duplicates, it's all completely highlighted. If you just hold down the command and click somewhere off of that, it'll deselect. So for the smiling eyes, I'm gonna take this path and I'm just gonna drag it up like that, drag it up like that. And maybe select all this and then move it down a bit like that. So that'll be grinning and then it goes down like, eh, I'm smiling. Anyways, okay, so we have that one. So next let's do one where the mouth is shut instead of grinning like that. So beaming face with smiling eyes is what that's called. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this path. I'm gonna call it closed mouth grin smiling eyes. <laughs> It doesn't really matter what you label these as. Yeah, so we're gonna take out these. And if you accidentally ever click and it duplicates the path as you click, like you accidentally um, drag it or something, you can just hit Command Z. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take out these and delete that. And I'm gonna erase the edges of the smile. And this will be just moved down slightly, I think, to distinguish. Um, so instead of the opened mouth, right now, maybe hard to see, but this is just the grin. So these are the teeth, and then the lipstick will be on the top and bottom. Okay, so pretty easy change there. Next, let's do this little one here, the um, squinting face, they say. So I'm going to go back to, since that one has an open mouth, I'm going to go back to grinning, smiling eyes. I'm going to duplicate this path. We're going to call it grinning, squinty eyes, I guess. So before I delete them, so I remember where to put them, I'm going to make this shape with the eyes like so, maybe down a little bit like that and like that. And uh, maybe we'll bring it over to the very corner. Okay. And I'm going to drag that over and then transform it so it goes the other way. Put it there. Let's delete this and see how they look. And I keep getting duplicate paths because when they're small, they always do that. And I just have to keep hitting Command Z. It didn't used to do that. It's just like an annoying thing. Okay, so there's that. I think these could be a little bit bigger. I'm going to select them and transform them a little bit like that. <laughs> they might, well, I might want to move them in each just a little bit. So I think it looks a little funnier like that. <laughs> there we go. 
and we'll do another one. Let's do the grinning face with sweat. <laughs> I guess that's when you laugh when you're like nervous. <laughs> Um, so the closest one to that was the grinning smiling eyes. We're gonna duplicate this path. We're gonna call it grinning smiling, uh, I don't remember what it was. Grinning smiling, grinning with sweat drop, something like that. <laughs> and we're just gonna put a little sweat drop to the side of her. So uh, I'll just make a closed path there and then I'll hold down the option down here and make a big giant <laughs> sweat drop. Uh, we'll move it like this there and I'm not going to do it now but you can go in and delete this information behind it so <laughs> it will show up uh, a little bit more normal. Okay so the next one is turned on its sides I guess rolling on the floor laughing. <laughs> so we're going to go back to that one with the squinty eyes. We're going to duplicate that one and I guess we'll just say roll on floor laughing uh, like that. Okay and then we're going to take this one command T and we're going to leave the um, this is like the center point. We want it directly in the center so we're going to leave it like that and we'll turn it to the side. So we have this and now it's like this but we want a few I guess teardrops. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to make an anchor point here, down here, up here, and then drag it like that. This might be a little too big. Let's, uh, yeah, let's shorten it a bit. And we'll have it come out of the eyes here and then out of this one up here, <laughs> like so. Okay, seems like a lot to do these, but you can see if you just duplicate them, <laughs> they go pretty fast. And again, you would probably want to go in and delete the um, information behind here. So how many have we made here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make 10 total. The next one is pretty simple. It's the uh, upside down face. And since our very first one was the smiley, slightly smiling, we're going to duplicate that path. We're gonna call it upside down face and it's down here at the bottom and we're just gonna hit command T and flip vertical. And that is done for us. So that's eight, we'll do two more. Next we'll do the winky one. I'm gonna go to slightly smiling and duplicate this one as winky. Okay, and then for some reason, none of these have had eyebrows yet, but this one does. Uh, so we'll add some eyebrows. We'll just add these little lines. Um, I guess it's to distinguish. So we're gonna make this eye winking. I'm gonna bring it in like this, uh, shorten these up a bit till it's sort of like a closed eye like that. And then this one will go up in a curve a little bit. So I'll bring this down and this down until it's a curve and then we'll move these here and then I'll adjust these so that they're <laughs> you probably won't have eyelashes but in case you do move those down so it's like that and then for whatever reason <laughs> I'll put the eyebrows in. Here's eyebrow number one and here's eyebrow number two and I guess that just helps maybe when you wink <laughs> your eyebrow goes down. Uh, and then there's a slightly more open mouth in this one so I'm just gonna add a little bit here and I guess we'll just add a little darkness there so that the mouth looks a little more open. <laughs> there we go. Okay so that's winky one. I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit more. I think it would be a little bit lower. <laughs> So there's our winking face and then we just have one more to do and then the blushing one is pretty much um, this one but with a closed mouth and then most of the mostly it'll be end coloring so we'll do that one as the last one and hopefully you have gotten an idea now <laughs> for how easy it is. So if that was we'll do uh, where's the video yeah, this one uh, we're gonna duplicate this path and uh, I'm going to delete this mouth here. I'm going to steal the mouth from uh, slightly smiling. So I'm going to copy that, go back to, uh, I never labeled this, <laughs> blushing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and paste that, that mouth. We're going to take that one and paste it. Uh, we're going to curl this up to give it a little bit more of a, uh, I guess, blushy smile. <laughs> yeah, so that's just make a little tiny alteration there and maybe I'll expand the lipstick because it's a little bit more curled up. Yeah and then you'll just add the blush in coloring. So I'll, I'll stop there. The next step so I'll add a new layer. I'm gonna call this line. I'm gonna quickly go through how you would ink this and then I, I'll go through what they look like colored. Uh, our brush is on 10, size 10, hardness 100. Uh, just get it whatever you want, whatever you're ready for. Then as long as you're on the brush when you hit enter, remember earlier when you were on the pen and you had to enter and it would just disappear here. Now if you're on the brush and you hit enter it will stroke path and if you have any weirdness with that you can right click select stroke path and see the options here. So I have it on brush here and I don't have my pressure simulated. So 
that's why it looks like that. And then if you want to fill in anything here, we'll fill in her eyelashes. I made sure they were closed. I'm going to select them all and then I'm going to right click fill sub paths and I'm going to make sure it's foreground color, which is black mode, normal opacity hundred and no feather on the radius. And that'll just fill them in like that for me. So <laughs> there's the line art and I will show you now. <laughs> I'll cycle through the ones I made so you can kind of see how they can turn out when they're final. So hopefully this was useful. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.